He's called the father of rock and roll, and at 81 years old, Chuck Berry is still a rockin' and a rollin' on stage. Early in the morning, give you my warning, don't step on my new sweat shoe. This legend of rock and roll wowed a crowd in Boston recently as part of a benefit concert that also featured musicians from some of the greatest bands to ever rock the music charts. But even these guys tip their hat to this grand old man of rock and roll music. Chuck is uh, one of the last. There's only him, Bo Diddley, and Little Richard left from, from those, uh, the heroes of the 50s and 60s. And without Chuck Berry, a lot of us wouldn't be, uh, you know, wouldn't be playing music. He's, he's, he's one of a kind. one of the forefathers of rock and roll, he could be anything he wants. I mean, I would have no guitar style if it wasn't for Chuck Berry. My, all my stuff started with that. How much of a kick is it to have Chuck Berry being the headliner tonight? Well, it it's, makes perfectly good sense. You know, various members of the group um, have performed with Chuck Berry throughout the years, and we all respect him for what he's done uh, for the music business for so many years. Those who have worked with and respect Barry say he's also garnered a reputation as sometimes being as difficult as he is talented. He's unpredictable, you know, you never know. I heard he was going to bring a band and he wasn't going to bring a band and now he's back to bringing a band, you know. He, he's a volatile personality as we know and not, not always the easiest person to work with, but uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. He's Chuck Berry and it's wonderful. Now the musicians on this stage right behind me are part of the backbone of some of the biggest groups in rock and roll, from the Rolling Stones to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. But tonight it's not just about the music, it's also about helping their fellow entertainers deal with a very serious problem. This super group of musicians have joined forces for this special concert to benefit Right Turn, a recovery support group for entertainment artists who are battling addiction. We like to refer to it as creative treatment for creative people. Uh, we provide uh, uh, addiction and mental health services for, for people who are struggling primarily in the arts and the entertainment business, but we feel that our services uh, have its benefits for, for all. How destructive is addiction within the entertainment industry and among musicians? Well, I, I think the, the facts are out there, aren't they? I mean, from artists like Janis Joplin to Jimi Hendrix to, you know, uh, some artists that I've worked with, some known and some not so well known, have either struggled with uh, in, uh, addictions or even not made it, you know. Concerns surround other celebrities currently battling addiction, from Lindsay Lohan to Amy Winehouse. In your early 20s, you, you think you're immortal, you think you're bulletproof, and it's very hard to get the fact that you're an addict. You know, uh, pride, arrogance, whatever kicks in. Myself, I would have a beer, which would lead to two beers, which would lead to Jack Daniels, which would lead to this and that. And then, you know, it's 7 a.m. in the morning and I got a show that night, and that went on night after night. Mm -hmm. You know, from the time I was, I mean, I pr pretty much used from the time I was 13 till the time I was 30. What was the turnaround point for you? Moment of clarity. I just got, I looked in the mirror and I just had enough. And then I called somebody and I asked for help. But unlike those who have overcome their addiction, the road to recovery for many others is much harder. And that's where programs like Right Turn and the support of their peers plays a big part. In every walk of life is addiction, obviously. And you know, for me being a musician, I see a lot of my friends that are musicians that, that struggle with it. And I just want them to know that you know what, I'm here for you. Most important, I want you to be happy. I want you to be healthy. I don't want you to be hurting yourself or anybody else. That's number one. And